Alright, so today we got something interesting. It was a cheap Chromebook I got online for $22, I think. Came with the case too. That wasn't in the listing, so that was a nice added bonus. Uh, it's a, the brand is Hisense, which I think is a cheap Chinese TV manufacturer. Anyways, it's 11 inches, but the problem was uh, the screen was broken, so that has to be fixed. Uh, so I got a replacement on eBay for the sum total of $19.99 nineteen ninety nine, uh, and $7.70 for shipping. So not too bad of a deal. Um, and, and in total, the whole thing ended up costing me 50 bucks with the Chromebook. So that's pretty pretty good deal. Uh, I'm just going to try and get it out of the packaging here. Got some nice pink bubble wrap. A lot of nice blue packing peanuts. Got it wrapped up pretty good, thankfully. Don't have to worry about it being cracked or anything. And it looks like it's in good shape. Got a couple scuffs on the back, but uh, looking good. So the first thing we're going to have to do here is take off this front shroud to get the LCD out because I'm not going to be replacing the whole lid. I'm just going to replace the LCD. Uh, so the first and hardest step is getting that shroud off. So you got to get your fingernails under there and pry it up. And don't use a screwdriver like I just tried to do there because I almost scratched my screen. I, I did scratch that shroud. Thankfully I have the original one that came with the laptop. So uh, that once you get it un clipped it comes off pretty easy now there's just four screws you gotta do here not these four at the bottom uh, but these four on the sides here there they should be black so there should be one at every corner and make sure not to lose these because they're very important unless you want your screen all flappy or falling out or anything so just go ahead and unscrew those and be careful of the screen of course um, yeah so just something interesting I wanted to show you here the new lid that I got actually has different hardware in the top than the old one so it's got the webcam board is just a tiny bit different and the Wi-Fi antennas are green on the new one and black on the old one so that was just kind of, kind of weird so now you just gotta put your screen in uh, I gotta be really careful uh, I just laid mine face down on the keyboard because the connector lines up really easy there so that guy just slides in there and uh, it can be a little bit of a pain to get in, but you got to be careful and take it slow because it's not a ribbon cable, but it's still pretty delicate. And that's something you definitely don't want uh, ripping. So, oh, I left mine on. So don't do that. Make sure you just turn it off uh, before you plug it in. So we'll just turn it off there. So we're almost done. We just need to screw the screen back in with those screws that we saved earlier. Uh, just those four black ones around the corners. And so at this point, there's only one thing left to do. You gotta snap the front shroud on. So that's kind of a pain to put on, but not as much as it was to take off. So once you get that snapped in, there's two small screws near the bottom that you can screw in there. Um, and then over top of those, there's just two real small uh, rubber bumpers or screw covers that you can put on there if you have them, if you save them. Uh, it just makes things a little cleaner and uh, adds a little uh, better padding when you close the lid. So uh, now that everything's put back together, one thing left to do, see if it works. So uh, hopefully I didn't get scammed by a broken screen. Ah, there we go. Works just great. Uh, boots right into my login screen just like it's supposed to. So uh, if you have any questions about it, just leave a comment and I'll try and help you out. And uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for uh, watching.